All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about using the uh, graph editor with motion. So we'll just start off by creating a new composition. I'm going to set it to 1280 by 720 square pixels, 24 frames a second. And we can maybe shorten this to 400. That will be four seconds. So I'm going to hit OK. Right now it's really small, so what I want to do is in this bottom left, click there and set it to fit up to 100. And that's going to zoom it in so it fits right up against the edges. All right. Um, next, I want to create a solid. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and set that to 100 by 100. And I'll just call this Square. Hit OK. So here it is. So in the last video, we were setting keyframes. This time, we're going to take it a little bit further. So I'm going to press P to get the positioning keyframes set up. And um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and click there. I'm going to move it to three seconds. Move it over to here. So in the span of three seconds, it's going to move from point A to point B. Now, let's say I want it to sort of accelerate as it gets towards the edge. What I'm going to do is uh, switch to the graph editor right here. And we can see the red represents the uh, horizontal or the x-axis and the y represents or sorry the green represents the y-axis. And since we have no vertical movement this is going to be a flat line. Whereas this is just one straight linear movement all of these dots are evenly spaced. Now if we want to add some acceleration or some easing, I'm going to click on this, excuse me, this first point here. And I have all these different handle options to choose from. I'm just going to click this one. You'll notice it sort of changes the shape of that curve. I'm going to bring that up so I have a little more room. So now when I click on here, Let's see, Maybe it's not letting me see the handle. Um, I think what I need to do is separate the X and Y. So before we move on, you'll want to separate the dimensions. And that's this X, Y, Z icon, so click that. So now, yeah, we get these handles. And also you notice we've got the X and the Y split up as two separate things. So I'm gonna click on the X so by clicking on one item, it's going to show it over here. If I want to show both, I can hold shift and click both. The other thing I can do is, if neither are selected, it's not going to show anything, but if I click on these icons, I can have both of them showing up at the same time, even if they're not selected. So I want it to sort of start out slow and speed up as it moves to the right. So I'm going to drag this. So the more flat it is, the slower the change is going to happen. And as it moves more vertically, it's going to speed up. And you can see that reflected in the dots here. As the dots get bunched up closer together, that means they're moving slower. And as it moves to the right, you'll notice they get spaced out. So that means it's speeding up towards the end. So I'm going to hit space to play it. And play it one more time. So you can see it really dramatically speeds up. Now, if I if I feel like it's accelerating too slowly and speeding up too fast at the end, I can just adjust this so I have a more gradual curve and then do that. So it's, it's not quite straight, it's just bowed a little bit. So um, we can also hit this um, RAM preview button. All right, another thing we can do is an S-curve. So we can have it so it starts out fast, slows down, and then speeds up again. So let's see how that looks. That's a little too dramatic. So I'm going to do that. So we still have an S-shape here. Okay, um, and then at 
the same time, we can actually adjust the Y independently. And the way we can do that is by choosing the pen tool, and the hotkey for that is G. So let's say from here to here, I want it to move straight, but then I want it to move down all of a sudden. So from here to here, I want it to move, um, I need to make sure I have that. I want it to move down. And actually I'm gonna, if I put the pen right over the points, it has a little minus sign, that means I can just delete the point immediately. So even though this X motion is gonna stay consistent, my Y is now separate. So if I want this to take a little bit longer, I can just drag this over. Or if I want it to accelerate as it falls, I'm going to drag this that way. You'll notice it spreads out as it goes towards the ground. So let's play that. All right. So that's kind of the effect of curves. And we can apply this to any other type of variable. So right now we're applying it to the position. We can also do it to scale. So first I need to uncheck these. So S to switch to scale. I'm gonna uncheck that. Um, set a keyframe. And let's say right here, I have it squash when it hits the ground. So before I do that, I'm actually going to adjust the anchor point. Um, I'm going to adjust the vertical one so that this is the very base and the bottom. So actually, if I want it to be perfect, I'll set it to 100. And let's say I want it to kind of squash a little bit when it hits the ground. So right here, I'm going to set a keyframe and I want it to go down vertically and squish that way. But then let's say I want it to kind of bounce back. So I'm gonna actually raise it past 100. It's so like 125 or so. And then back to maybe a little below 100. And then back to 100. So it's going to go boing like that. Now, I can actually get rid of these. Um, whoops. I guess I can't do that. Hmm. So I guess on this one, you can't really separate the X and the Y. That's a bummer. So um, if I want it to be a little bit bouncier, what I can do is hold Command well, while I'm in the pen mode, or I can just hit V, select this point, click this, um, easy ease, and then select that, set that, and then do the same to all three of those. So now and I can even do it to that one as well. So now it's going to have a bit bouncier appearance. So let's see how that looks. Now it went a little slower than I was hoping. So what I can do is just drag all these points and move them over to the right. And in fact, I can select all these points and I can drag the edges of this bounding box and actually compress that action right there. So. And maybe I think that's too fast, I can just drag it. But at this point, it's just making subtle adjustments to whatever your liking is. And those are the basics of the graph editor. I guess if you want to include one more thing, sorry, I keep adding more stuff. I'm going to select all these. If I want to sort of zoom in to fit this whole selection, I'm going to click this button. That's going to kind of fit all of my keyframes on the screen at once. All right, that's it. Thanks.